second grade teacher forgot to teach you this. So I'll teach you right now. Out of these four ridiculous numbers, which is the second smallest number? Now these are too big to put in the calculator. So I'm gonna teach you how to simplify it. So this one, we can break it down into two to the seven times one, 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 one power. This one, we can break it down into three to the six times one, 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 one power. This one, we can do four to the five times one, 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 one power. And this one, we can do five to the four times one, 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 one power. Now all of these have one, 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 one in the exponent. And even though those are big, you'll see how it helps later. But for now, let's solve for the base. So two to the seventh power, we can rewrite that as one, two, eight, three to the sixth power. That's the same thing as 729. Four to the fifth power, that's going to be the same thing as one, zero, two, four. Five to the fourth power is going to be the same thing as 625. And now all of these are replaced by the numbers we just solved for on the bottom, and they all have exponent of one, 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 one. So now it's going to be easier to compare them rather than these big numbers on top. And if all of them have the same exponents, we can just get rid of them for now for the purposes of comparison. And we can compare it directly with these numbers. Numbers. Now the smallest one is going to be 128, but that's not what we're looking for since we want the second smallest number. The second smallest one here is going to be 625, which is correlated with five to the 4,444th power. So that's going to be answer choice D. And if you didn't learn this in second grade and you wanna get better at math, just hit the follow button.